The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. Well, the midnight headlights blind you on a rainy night. Steep grade up a hill, slow me down, making no time. But I gotta keep rolling. The windshield wiper, slap out of tempo. Keeping perfect rhythm with the song on the radio. But I gotta keep rolling.
welcome. My name is Nicole Vandelar. I'll be your pilot today. We're excited you've come to take a helicopter tour with us and I'm going to go over a couple of things that you'd like to know and that you should know prior to taking your flight today. First of all, I'm going to go over the tour route with you so that you've got your cameras ready in order to get all the exciting shots you'd like to get. And then after that, I'm going to go over some safety items that you should know when entering and exiting the helicopter and throughout the duration of your flight with us today. So come with me and we'll show you the way. In order to conduct safe operations today, we'd like to go over a few items that you should be aware of when entering and exiting the helicopter and also as you take your tour. So basically, we always ask that you enter and exit the helicopter to the front. Now you'll be receiving instructions from our staff on whether you are sitting on the left side or the right side and when to enter. So look for cues from our staff member on when is the appropriate time to enter. So it should be no problem there. However, in the event you needed to exit the helicopter on your own, always exit to the front. The reason for this is, is that we, this back area we consider a danger area. The back area is where the tail rotor is spinning and we would like you to remain clear of the back area of the helicopter at all times. Use caution for the tail rotor. And also when you're on this side of the helicopter, use caution for the tail rotor. Now when you get in the helicopter, you're going to be putting on your seatbelt. This is an over-the-shoulder harness seatbelt just like in your vehicle. And the clasp is an open flap clasp. Following that, you're going to put your headsets on. And once you put your headsets on, I ask that you make sure that the mic is close to your mouth so that you can talk to me, I can talk to you, and you can talk to your friends. Now your door handles are here. I ask that you do not touch the door handles in flight. Although in the event of an emergency, I will ask that you open your own handle. And to do so, you would pull the handle up and then forward. Here on the islands, we wear life vests for over the water flying. So you'll be getting these life vests to put on prior to coming out to the helicopter. So basically you just put them around your waist and hook it like so. And this will go front, left, or right. And basically you pull on the tab, you get a vest that comes out and goes over the top of your head and there'll be two red tabs on the vest and you pull the tabs in order to inflate the vest. Now in the event of an emergency, you'll go through a four-step process. One, take off your headsets. Two, unbuckle your seatbelt. Three, pull on the tab, put the vest over top of your head. Four, exit the helicopter and then inflate. I ask that you do not inflate the vest until you're outside of the helicopter in order not to obstruct your ability to get out. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. If this is your first time on a helicopter, I'm certain the experience will be once in a lifetime. Seeing the Hawaiian Islands by air is truly spectacular, and I'm excited to give you a piece of what I get to experience every day. So come on in, bring your cameras, and get ready to go for the experience that you've never had before. Mahalo. So <laughs> 
clip with me? Yeah. Thank you for joining Steel Spotlight. We're Steel True Crime on A and E. Thank you for joining me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Steel the Spotlight TV and Radio. Please hit like and subscribe. Here we are at a fireworks display in the beautiful farmlands of Indiana. So we have a big crowd here, as you can see. Yeah, it's a third size flower in here. Thank, thank you for joining. We're gonna make this quick and easy. Yep. Hey, this is William Steele from Steele Spotlight TV and William Steele True Crime. Here we have a gentleman who runs the show here from Pyromaniac Fireworks, Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're at an event where they're gonna put off some fireworks here. Tell us about your company and tell us about what you're doing here tonight. Well, this is our customer appreciation demo shoot. Typically, we'll have over a thousand people here. The event's free, free admission. We have a band, we have the National Guard that comes out. We do the event in coordination with the local 2209, that's the GM Union. We make the great Chevy Silverados right down the road here, right outside of Fort Wayne, right, uh, right down the road. So we've been doing this event here every year. Pyromaniacs has been in business now for 24 years. We love giving back to the community, and this is just one small way that we give back to our customers is kind of creating this crazy circus environment and then shooting all these great fireworks in front of our great customers. How long have you guys been in business? 24 years. 24 years in business mm -hmm. in, in Indiana. He shared with me, they don't make this stuff here. It comes from As Trump likes to say, China. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from China. God bless. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you for joining William Steele True Crime and Steel the Spotlight TV and radio. Thank you.
God, hit me. Hit me, baby.
winner of the fireworks is Brandy McFarland. You can come up and get your money. I have it. Brandy McFarland. Brandy McFarland.
Hey, I am uh, Jeff Lindis, co-host for Wesley TV. Subscribe to Wesley TV. If not, the whole crew is going to come to your house and looking for you. Just kidding. Subscribe. You'll see lots of fun. Lots of trips. Lots of fan-friendly uh, fan fan fr stuff. See, I'm so hypnotized. Subscribe now.
the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. We're seldom as heard of the scourging wood and the skies are not cloudy all day. They will be the first ones out the gate. Do not follow too close because we just had a collision out here just a second ago. That's number one and number two. Number three. Moses Bay Pet P. There's also no bumper cars. Okay? They're not bumper cars. They are go karts. It's very dangerous when you try to play bumper cars with these. They're not bumper cars, they're go karts. Okay? 
Yeah, that's my PSA for today, people. Go have fun. And be safe. Later, guys. Hi, my name is Evelyn, and I am the one that crashed the go-kart. I am okay. I just have this little goose egg right here. <laughs> but I am okay. And what happened was that I was turning this way to go into the, um, to go around the left go around the like the lap thing one more time and it like kind of like let I kind of let go of it and it like turned all the way around and it crashed into the wall but I am okay and be careful when you're riding those go-karts okay bye all right Paul Hurley as long as Paul can hear me can you follow your shoot list we're gonna start with the fountains uh, before it gets dark so the first fountain here is pure fantasy go ahead Bert This is a fan favorite every year. It's a fountain with aerial lines, so you get a little bit of aerial action with the fountain. That was pure fantasy. Item number two, fountain called Retro Dogs. There's actually four different of these dog fountains. We're going to shoot one of them tonight. These are all killer. I grabbed a couple too many. Uh, oh, dang, we're still going. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is why we sell a lot of these, just to keep it. everybody think about that one that was a great Woo! fountain all oh, you guys worry about the big stuff you gotta remember the family needs some fountains item number three is magic potion this is what we call a power cone
the first time we have done it in a while out here. Yeah. Yeah. Taking off at T minus 30 seconds. Let's see how you guys shoot before heading up with us. I've got a strange feeling about this.
travel along There's one day here and the next day gone Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand Sometimes you turn your back to the wind There's a world outside every darkened door Where blues won't haunt you anymore Where the brave are free and lovers soar Come ride with me to the distant shore We won't hesitate to break down the garden gate There's not much time left today Back up. Right. The more we get together